Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore and today we are going to discuss about virtual classes. In last session, we have discussed the overloading okay, and next one overriding concept like this. Now, today I am going to start about virtual classes and I have used the virtual function in dynamic binding. Okay. In last session, I have discussed about the dynamic binding which is working based on virtual function. Okay. Now, today we are going to discuss about virtual class, what is called virtual class and when we have to make it virtual class. Okay. You might make a class as virtual, when we have to make a class virtual. Okay. You know that we are having five different types of inheritances. Okay. In C++, we are working with five types of inheritance models, single level, multi-level, multiple, hierarchical, hybrid or multi-path inheritance. Now, in multiple inheritance what happens? Okay. Generally, multiple inheritance means what? We are creating a class from more than one base class. We are creating a class from more than one class. Okay. Next, what is called hierarchical inheritance? We are creating several classes from one base class. For example, there is a situation like this. Okay. Now, it is one of the base class. Just assume it is the base class. Now, from this base class, there is situation I have to declare two classes okay, derived and derived. Okay. For example, this base class name is A, this uh, derived class name is B and this derived class name C, just assume like this. Now, what happens in hierarchical inheritance, the base class properties are passed to derived. For example, here one function is there, suppose function is there. Now, it is derived from this class, okay. this class also derived from this class. Now, what happened? this function is passed to this one means here function is there and same function passed to this one also that is why here one more function is there. Later there is a situation where we have to define one more class from these two classes. Now there is a situation suppose I want to define another derived class suppose it is the new derived class D. Okay. It is the first base class A. From this base class, there is two derived classes called B and C. Now, from B and C, I have to derive D class. Now, what happened? Watch it. Already, derived class is having one function. Actually, this function is the member of a base class. And here also one function is there. It is a member of base class. Now, this function passed and this function is passed. Indirectly, the meaning is what? Now, these are created from means these two derived from one base class. Okay. That means they are having one base class. That means already base class properties are one time here and second time here. Now we are creating the next derived from these two derived. That means already it is having base class property, base class property. Now the derived D is created two times from the same base class. That means, in this class creation, what happened? Function 1 already one time here is there. Function 1 already here one more time. Now, two copies of passed and that means, what happened here? The same class is created two times from the base class. Okay? But actually, inheritance does not support this concept because of we are not able to create one class more than one time by using the same base class. Okay. Inheritance, okay, what happened? We are passing the base class properties to the derived class, but in this example what happened? We are passing the base class properties two times to the derived class. That means, two copies of base class members are created in derived class. Now, actually it is not possible. Okay. The thing is, it is not possible and it gives errors. Now, how to pro solve this issue? Okay. Now, to solve this issue, just you have to make it uh, virtual. Whenever you want to make 
okay this kind of inheritance then go for okay virtual now it is called virtual class means base class will become virtual whenever the class is virtual what happened means uh, the class properties are bypassed and only one set of properties are available in derived class okay that is why we cannot create one derived class from more than more than one time from the same base class. To avoid this problem what we have to do means uh, we have to create the derived class by using virtual keyword that means when class B is created make it uh, virtual and when class C is created make it virtual later create the class D. Now the problem is solved. Now I am going for implementation concept okay now i'm going to conduct an example on virtual class okay that's why here you should have to make a base class virtual that's why sometime you might have to make the base class virtual like in this situation okay now implementation part watch it okay common header files hash include io stream dot h next hash include conio dot h one for c out c in another one clr scr and get ch ok. Now, there is a class suppose class name is c 1 ok. Now, I am going to create a base class like this c 1 and here there is only one function I want to maintain public void c 1 function means now easy for understanding it is c1 class function ok here c out c1 class function ok slash n or end l what it may be now the class completed ok now it is the base class in this example c1 is the base class because of i want to derive the class from this c1 ok now i am going to create another class c2 ok actually it is the class c2 now it is derived from public ok c1 that means now the c2 class is created from c1 class ok now here once again public in public zone void c2 function ok now it is the c2 function and here the content is c2 class function slash in now the function close class also close ok in this situation what happened c2 class is derived from c1 in which mode public mode already in public section which one is there c1 function that means it is passed to c2 class ok now there is another class class c3 public c1 ok here watch it c1 is the base class and c2 is the derived class and in this situation also c1 is the base class and c3 is the derived ok that means can i write like this it is the c1 class from c1 c2 created and c3 also created now it is the base and these are the derived now one base class and two derived which is called hierarchical inheritance which is called hierarchical inheritance ok next here in public zone once again void c3 function is there ok here c out c3 class function class close ok in this example from c1 already c2 is created from c1 c3 also created that means now it is nothing but the hierarchical inheritance later class c4 now it is the c4 public c2 comma c3 now say this class c4 it is the new class means derived class which is derived from c2 and c3 class c2 c3 
Now C4 that means from these two classes C4 is derived. Now what happened? It will become derived and they will become base. Okay. Now in this example it is called multiple inheritance and this one is called hierarchical inheritance. Okay. That means, in same example I have used both the hierarchical inheritance as well as multiple inheritance. That means, what same base class okay, say this here the class is derived from two or more base classes which is called multiple inheritance, but already those two classes are created from C1 class. That means, already inside one C1 is there and here also here C1 is there. That means, now the C4 class is created from C1, C1 two times that is why what happened duplicate copies are passed to derived class and actually it is not possible in inheritance, it is not possible in inheritance. Okay. For example, now class C4 suppose public void C4 function and here I am going to write C out C4 class function class close. Now, totally how many classes I have defined? 4 classes C1, C2, C3, C4. From C1 we have created C2 and C3, from C2 and C3 we have created C4 which is called hybrid inheritance, total concept is called hybrid inheritance. Okay. Now, it is called hybrid inheritance. Uh, next, now what happened? Here from C2 and C3 we have created C4 now. Now, how to call the members main function, suppose it is the main function. Okay. C4 is the last class, now C4 object OBJ, suppose it is the object created from C4, actually C4 created from which one? C3, C2 and C2, C3 are created from which one? C1. Now, C1 is having a C1 function, now, now I want to call the function. Suppose C object to dot C1 function. Now, it is going to call which function? Object dot C1 function means C1 class function. Okay. Here object dot C2 function. Now, object dot C2 function. Okay. Now, we are calling C1 function, next C2 function, later C3 function object to dot C3 function and object to dot C4 function. Now, program close get CH program close. Okay. Whenever this program is compiled you are getting issues means errors, where we are getting the issue here C1 function, because of here C1 function created two times with the same prototype okay, with the same name everything is same but uh, we cannot create more than one function with the same name in same class okay, anywhere. But here what happened C1 class passed to C4 okay, through C2 and C3 that is a duplicate copy. Now, to avoid this problem you have to create uh, this uh, C2 and C3 classes from C1 using virtual class mechanism using virtual. Now, how to? then class C2, here public is there now, just add virtual keyword, here or here no problem at all. Now, add the virtual, virtual C1, that is all. Now, C1 is common base class, okay. C2 is the derived, but by using which one? Virtual, which one we are making virtual? C1, now it is called virtual class. Next, here also same thing, for example, public virtual C1, once again same base class. Now, the base class will become virtual, whenever the virtual keyword is added, whenever the virtual keyword is added to the base class, now the base class properties are bypassed, that means they are going to be outside, means only one copy are going to be sent. Now, 
the duplicate problem is solved ok. That is why here C1 and C2 ok, C2 and C3 they should be derived by using of usual virtual class mechanism ok. Now, the duplicates are avoided and your program is executed. When this one is called C1 function is executed means C1 class function output, later C2 class function output and C3 class function and at last C4 class function. It is how to use the virtual classes in inheritance ok. Thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you.